You can assess whether a person has good integration of the two sides of the brain or if there is a problem there. And this is my good friend Luis, who is from Portugal, and uh, we've been sharing a tent for a few nights, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a really great soul. So he's volunteered to help us with this little bit of filming. First of all, I'm going to ask Luis to hold his arm here. I'm going to press it fairly firmly, so hold. I'm going to press for two seconds, and then I'm releasing, and that shows me how his muscle is behaving. Now, when there's stress in the system, the muscle will behave differently. So, I'm going to ask Luis to march on the spot, with his walking on the spot, as we call it, making sure he moves the upper arm, as well as the opposite leg. So you notice we're using the opposite arm, opposite leg, uses both sides of the brain. And stop, hold out your arm again, and hold. And this time when I press, with the same amount of pressure, the arm gives way because of stress in the system, and the muscle sh shows that as a weakened muscle. So we know that when Luis does this movement, using both sides at the same time, it causes stress. And that's because his brain is currently not integrated as well as it could be. Now if I ask Luis also to look at a cross like that, now I'm going to move my hand, so I'm going to ask you just to imagine that cross and just hold your arm here. Imagine that cross, Luis, hold your arm and hold. Okay, now look at these two straight lines and imagine those straight lines in your head and hold. And you'll see it's much mm -hmm. stronger when he visualizes the two straight lines. Two straight lines are separateness. The X is an integrated function. So we know because the stress with the X, looking or visualizing the X, the stress when Luis uses both sides of his brain by walking, so we know that that stress is because the two brains are not working together as well as they could. So what do we do about it? It's remarkably simple. We just do three minutes exercise twice a day for six weeks. And I'll go over those exercises now with Luis and demonstrate them. So first of all, I'm going to ask Luis to walk in the integrated way, moving the upper arm and lower arm. Continue walking Luis like that. And then I'm going to ask you to look up to the left. Still walking? Yes, still walking. Continue walking. Look at my fingers up here and hum. Okay, and we do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to walk same side arm and leg. And this time, I'm going to ask Luis to look down to the right, looking at my fingers, keeping the head still if you can. Good, that's excellent. Okay, same side arm and leg, and count: one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and we would do that up to thirty. Okay, so. 30 seconds for the first exercise, counting up to 30 for the second. The third exercise, I'm going to ask Luis to take the imagine taking the left brain in the left hand, the right brain in the right hand. You can do this, Luis, with me just now, as best you can. With the hands. Okay, like this. And then remove the hands out as if we're taking those two brains and putting them together in front. And then we put them on top of our head, right in the middle. Okay. Fantastic. Perfect. And we have a couple more exercises to go. Okay, Luis. We're going to walk on the spot again. Opposite arm, opposite leg. No. So you see how Luis has a preference for using the same side arm and leg. I said do opposite arm, opposite leg, and he started same side arm and leg. That's because current at the moment, 
he has a preference for using one side of the brain at a time. So the function of these exercises is so that both brains will be comfortable operating together, okay? So let's go to the next, this opposite arm, opposite leg, good. Continue doing that. Keep your head still. Look at my fingers. Keep walking. And follow my fingers around. So the eyes move in a nice big circle in one direction and then the other direction. Okay. And Louis, <coughs> stop. I think Lewis lost the opposite arm, opposite leg there. You started doing the same side arm and leg again. So let's just do the same side again. Sorry, opposite side again, I mean. Opposite arm and leg. Good. And carry on. And look at my fingers. And we're going to round in a circle. That's better. Round in a circle again. Okay. So then we're going to do the same side arm and leg loose. Okay, carry on doing that. And we go around in a circle again. And the other direction. Very good. Okay, and stop. And then the final exercise, which I really like, I'm going to make an X because X is integrated. Holding the X at arm's length, we bring that slowly to between the point between the eyes as if it's going right into the brain. Can you manage that, Louis? Maybe. Should I do it for you? Yeah. Like this? Okay, so look at that X and just keep focusing on the X as if it's going right inside your brain. Okay. Okay, so, so those are the exercises that we do. And you do that twice a day for six weeks. At the end of that six weeks, you'll have re-established connections between the left and right brain. And maybe you can do the exercises once a week just to maintain that. Or anytime you want to be really at your best mentally, do those exercises. Do those exercises. Because it really kind of gets those brains working together. So let's just see what's happening with Luis just now. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And hold your arm straight, hold your arm straight out, just the one arm is fine, and hold. And this time, this time the arm stays strong, even though he's been using both sides of the brain, because he's been marching using the left leg, the right arm, or the right leg and the left arm together, activating both hemispheres. But the arm stays strong at that point because he's just done the exercises. But that will not last. That will not last. But if you keep repeating those exercises, let's say twice a day for six weeks, then you will establish good integration and just need to do a little bit, maybe once a week or once a fortnight, and just whenever you feel like it. And you'll have got really good brain integration. Makes decision making very easy, enables you to express emotion appropriately for those people who get overwhelmed with emotion, it puts a break on that emotion.